That door just moved. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over everything that I have dealt with in the past two weeks with my new braces and what it's like having braces at my age. So, I'm going to be doing like multiple videos of just like updating y'all throughout like my whole two years of having braces because I say it's going to be two years. Um, depends on how my teeth go and how they move. Um, which is fine, I don't mind. Uh, I just would rather have them off by the time I am, you know, 30, which is in a year and a half. So if we can get to a year and a half, that'd be great. But I'm gonna be making videos just so I can update y'all with like my appointments and what they say, what they do, um, what I've been going through, what I deal with, and stuff like that. Just, just keep y'all updated if you don't know anything about braces, you've never known anybody with braces. Are you thinking about getting braces as an adult especially because I'm almost 30 years old and I got braces so if I can do it you can do it <laughs> if you are interested in seeing these type of videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know you are enjoying these type of videos and if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos when we do post and turn on that post notification as soon as you hit that subscribe button and you are subscribed make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss a video okay so let's go ahead and get right into the video so this video don't be too long I already wrote down some notes in my little notebook so that way I don't miss anything um I'm pretty sure this is like the main stuff I need to talk about so the first thing on my list um is pain pain did I deal with pain so when I got my braces two weeks and like two days ago it was a Thursday two Thursdays ago today is Saturday August 8th um, so I got two Saturday, two Thursdays ago. Um, when I left there, they told me I was going to be in like a lot of pain, like not able to move my mouth, not able to close my, my teeth, like close my mouth. I mean, um, just basically everybody was telling me I was going to be in the most pain like ever. I was going to be like, basically like bed rest for the rest of the day type shit. But in reality... I didn't feel that much pain at all. I felt like pressure when they put the um, wire on, um, but it, I didn't get much pain. Mainly because I was already taking ibuprofen that whole day and the day before because I TMI, I was already on my cycle. So I was already taking um, ibuprofen to deal with cramps. So it kind of weighed out good because i didn't have to worry about no pain in my mouth um but also that same day i did have a cavity feel so this side of my mouth was numbed up so that helped a little bit but as soon as i wore off which was right at the end of my appointment at to get my braces i still didn't have no pain i was still pretty good i was good the whole first day the second day was still pretty good i didn't have no pain the only thing only thing that was kind of painful was actually flossing um because as soon as you get braces on as soon as you get the wire on it immediately is like it just goes into work like as soon as it's on there it starts working at that second it doesn't wait two days three days before that any movement happens it literally kicks in right then and there so doing the flossing in between was a little difficult but I've gotten the hang of it. It's a lot easier now. The pain is like completely gone. I don't have any pain. Like I can like my teeth are sore. I can't have nothing like too hard still, of course. Um, nothing crunchy. Um, but pretty much anything else I can eat. Soft, medium, like in between soft and hard, the medium way, like medium. I, I'm good. I, I'm pretty much good. I can eat pretty much what I want. I don't have to really. And I can't go and eat a burger. I'm pretty sure I can't go bite no burger and like actually chew all that down. I can't do that just yet. Probably in another couple weeks. But then, by then, I'll be already at my next appointment pretty much. And it's going to be right back to the same thing. 
So pain wise, I've been pretty good. I haven't dealt with much pain at all. I say the worst I had was like a two, maybe a three. Um, so that's just my pain tolerance. My pain tolerance is a little bit high. Um, depends on the type what the body part is. Um, can be high and then other body parts is pretty low. But I can I, I took that or I just had enough ibuprofen to take care of the pain for some days. Cause I did keep taking it for days after that. I think I stopped taking ibuprofen after like a week of having my braces. Um, and then I just stopped and I haven't had no pain. Um, I do get, you know, um, is that on here? No. Um, the only thing is I do have, I don't know if y'all can see, y'all probably can. I have wax right here in the front right now because <sighs> y'all know it braces. You tear up your mouth a little bit. Um, but my thing is, oh, it is on here. Yeah. So I'm going to skip down to this and go ahead and knock this one out. I have a bad habit when I'm sleeping, um, that I suck. Like, I don't. I kind of like suck all the air and saliva out of my mouth. So when you do that, it's like a vacuum seal in there. And when you do that in your sleep, you don't open your mouth back up to release that. So you're just breathing through your nose. So I have a bad habit when I'm sleeping of like gripping my lips. Like not like pulling my lips inside my mouth, but just... Oh, it's so hard to explain, but it's literally like a suction cup. I tend to, I guess, suck the saliva out of my mouth when I'm asleep, and it's like, it gets that tight grip up around here, around my mouth, so they grip onto my braces, and not my lips, like the skin part right here, not my actual lips, this other part. And it presses onto the braces, which causes it to start digging into my skin on the inside, and it can cause to have like canker sores and stuff like that. So I have a small canker sore on the inside because it's irritated, it's done and pressed on my braces for too long. Um, and you can actually somewhat see the shape of, a, of my braces on my skin. I know I did it real bad um, like earlier this week and it was just like, wow, it was just like the whole front, like you see the, the whole indention of my braces inside my skin. So, that is the only, I think, bad side besides having to dig in your teeth to get all the food out. That's probably the bad thing. The digging of food out is like a whole nother level. That drives me nuts. Like literally it drives me nuts. I hate, I, 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 I honestly hate eating food just because I had to go dig most of it out of my braces, mostly on the back side, like right here where you chew at. Front be pretty much good, but it's the back. Sorry, my head itching. The back be having just all kind of food and everything just built up in there and sucking it like using your tongue to try to like move it out. That don't work. You gotta literally get some floss picks and get up in there and get all that out because it it just don't work. So that is the bad side. The mess up your lips and digging all the food out of your braces is just like a very it's time consuming for the braces, digging the food out, and then the paint, the, the, the indention of the braces on your lip is just like, why? And it's just so irritating. The only thing that helps is putting wax right here on the inside. So that's why I have wax on my mouth. And I actually lost mine, so I have Kiana's in my mouth, and I don't know where mine's is. And wherever it's at, my other chapstick is with it, so I have to find it. I don't know where it's at, so I have to look for it. Um, I did for a short time have pain when I was putting my braces, uh, the wax on my teeth because I only really have to put the wax on the bottom front. And every time I have to put the wax on there, it is so sore. But today was actually pretty decent. So that might have subsided some. Um, but yeah, they were really sore to put brace, the wax on my teeth. And it's like, as soon as I would put it on there, it would be like so much pain because it's like preventing the pull of the braces um, on my teeth because like the wax would get in between the brackets and it would stop like the movement basically. And it would be so sore for at least like 20 minutes and then that would subside. But I was actually pretty good today with putting the, the wax on. So that might be all good now. 
Uh, oh, sorry, it's kind of late. It's like going on 10 o'clock. I'm doing this video. Uh, no, it's going on like nine. Nine. Is it? No, it's going on 10 o'clock. It's 9.46. I didn't even know it was that late. Yeah, we've been for like an hour. Uh, was eating I for the first week. Um, definitely for the first full week, I could only eat soft, soft foods. Nothing hard, no candy, no no meat for real, no not even peppers. Cause I we ended up having the and most a lot of we the potato mix for breakfast that has like the green peppers and red peppers in it. It's in the freezer aisle. I know I know people know what I'm talking about. Um, but we made that 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 same that like that Sunday after I got my braces. So three days later, couldn't chew it. Could not chew the braces, um, the peppers. I could chew the potatoes just fine. The eggs was just fine. The sausage was pretty fine because the sausage was like real small and it was like slices, like the circles. Um, and it wasn't crunchy. So the only thing I could eat with the peppers, I couldn't even bite into the peppers. Like it was just like I had to pick all the peppers out because I couldn't eat it. But now I'm good. Like I don't need to just eat soft foods or anything like that. That was only for like the first the first full week for sure and then a couple days this past week but other than that i've been pretty much okay um this most of this week so maybe about a week of eating soft foods give or take depends on your uh pain tolerance um uh, i got a couple more things um Another thing that I have to do every single day, more than one time, is brushing. Um, it's good to brush your teeth three after every meal you're supposed to. You're supposed to have you're supposed to brush out your teeth after every meal, anyways. But with braces, you definitely have to. You just gotta keep your break your brackets clean. You gotta keep um, your teeth clean. You gotta keep the wire clean. You gotta keep the little rubber bands clean because as you take care of all that, it stays on there longer. If you're not brushing every day. Um, not brushing at least twice Monday morning and at night before bed then eventually you can like make one of the brackets fall off because you're not keep keeping it clean and like stuff will just make the glue basically just break off so you do have to keep your teeth clean and I forgot to grab the toothpaste I can show y'all so I'll be right back um toothpaste regular toothpaste I use Colgate I use Colgate in the morning time um floss mouthwash um, if I feel like I need a brush in between, like between the morning and the night one, then I will. Most times I don't because I don't really eat until late in the afternoon anyway. So I really don't eat much until, I don't really eat in the morning. So I don't really need a brush, um, more than twice a day for real, to be honest. Um, and if I have to, I'll just do it. It's no big deal. Um, because I already keep a toothbrush and toothpaste in my purse. So that's, it's already a just in case. Flossing will be like the one thing I, I actually do multiple times throughout the day. I keep like the floss picks with me so I can um, get the back teeth because most of my back teeth I can actually floss without going underneath the braces because some of my teeth are so low in the, the gums that I don't need to go under to floss. I can just go over but that's going to change because they're going to they gonna get pulled up a little bit, a smidge and turn and man. That's a whole nother conversation. Like my teeth, they need a lot of work, but not a lot of work. You get what I'm saying? Um, my teeth aren't bad. They just have a lot of gaps. That's that's it. I have a lot of gaps, and some of my teeth are not straight. They're turned, not crooked. I wouldn't. They're turned. They're turned. Not like this way. They're just turned. So they're upright. But they'll sit this way instead of sitting this way. So they have to turn them. Not like this way to have to pull them up. But um, anyways. At night I do have to use a specific toothpaste. And I have to use only like a pea size. I can't brush afterwards. I mean can't eat or drink afterwards for 30 minutes. Because it's like a fluoride. Like how you get at the dentist. Um, so you can't eat or drink right after it. Because it has to stay on there. It helps your teeth stay clean. It helps the braces stay on longer. And you can only get it from the ortho. You can't go to the grocery store and get it. You can't go nowhere and get it. You either have to go to your orthodontist or you have to get a prescription. This is what it is. 
It is called Prosis. I want to say it's just how to pronounce it. If it focuses, come on, focus. So this is what it is. It's professional. You can only get it from your orthodontist. You cannot buy this in a grocery store. It was not even a barcode on there. Um, I don't think I already did the box way. I don't think it was. And I think it shows. Oh, it was on the box. No, it's on there. It says it right there. RX only. So that means you can only get it at a pharmacy. Lost some memory, so I had to clear some space. But yeah, you can only get this from the pharmacy, which is prescription from your ortho. I use a piece size of this every single night, and I can't rinse. I mean, I can't rinse, I can't drink, and I can't eat afterwards for 30 minutes. I usually just go straight to bed because I ain't got time to be waiting no 30 minutes to drink some. I'm going to do all that before, brush my teeth, and I'm going to bed. It doesn't foam up. It doesn't do anything like that. It's literally just a coating onto your teeth. You just brush all over your teeth for like, must be four minutes. I do like two and a half. Um, but brush all over your teeth. I brush all over it and then just leave it on there. You spit out the extra and bam, you're done. Um, so that's that. So I use that every single night. And it tastes like basically like toothpaste. It really don't taste like nothing at all. Um, but yeah, that's that. Brushing, brush, brush. And I get my teeth whitened at the end, so I'm very excited for that. Um, oh, flossing. I floss every day. I already said that, but I floss every day. And I also use regular floss, like the string. Um, I use the, the floss picks throughout the day and my, like, on the go. Um, and I use... It's like a feeder, so it's like you put the floss through like the hole and like it makes a loop. So that way you can go in with underneath the right underneath underneath the wire to get in between your teeth and then you floss and then you can do it again. So it's like a feeder, so it feeds underneath the wire. So you don't have to be trying to stick the floss through the hole and then be like, damn, it didn't make it, didn't make it, didn't make it. Um so I use one of them. I'm not gonna go grab that. That's that's too much and it's like super skinny, you ain't gonna be able to see it. Um, so, last two things I want to talk about is, um, movement and an x-ray. Movement is already happening. Um, I might throw in a picture. If I don't, I don't. I may or may not. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to show, like, a up close and personal in my mouth. All close. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to show some. I'm not going to show everything. Thing, I will show y'all just the front because that's like where the movement is happening. I'm not gonna show like the sides and stuff like that. Um, movement is happening already with the teeth beside my big teeth and my two front teeth on the bottom. The movement is already happening with those four teeth already off gate, especially my bottom two front teeth. They're already coming closer together. Um, they did have like a little slight gap and the top is like almost touching because the top is coming together faster than the bottom but the top of them is almost touching at the bottom and that's making me so happy because like i can barely feel a gap with my tongue and it's like it's happening like it's really freaking happening um so yes movement is already happening and i saw movement within a day the next day i saw movement already with the top two teeth beside my big teeth they had already started gapping out some because they actually have to turn. So they're going to gap out some before they actually turn. And I already saw a movement with that, which is like crazy. And then the next thing I noticed was that the bottom two teeth were already coming closer together, like super fast. Like they're literally almost touching now. Um, so that's like amazing. Like it's like, what's going to, what my teeth going to look like in a month from now? And two months from now, and three months from now, like, I can't wait to see the change. I can't wait. Like, I really can't wait. Then I know it's working. Even though I know it's working, seeing the change just confirms it. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about, which is something that just happened this week, is that uh, on Monday, I had got a call from my orthodontist saying that they saw something on my x-ray and they wanted to get another x-ray done just to make sure it isn't what they think it is and that it's just bone density 
Um, so Tuesday, I went and got another x-ray done of my bottom two front teeth. Um, I got another x-ray done and I actually turned around to see the x-ray because I'm very curious. So I looked at the x-ray and she's explained to me like what they're looking at. And it's basically like a black void, you can say, in between my two front teeth inside the gum. Um... My ortho has already started speaking with a oral surgeon. Um, and it's between it being just bone density and being between a cyst in my mouth and my gums. Um, it is now Saturday and I have no answers for y'all for that. Not even for myself. I haven't heard anything back. I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to call on Monday morning and find out what is actually going on inside of my mouth because nobody wants to keep me in the loop every single day or at least tell me something by Friday as if I'm not going to be paranoid when you mention oral surgeon. Um, if you're talking with the oral surgeon and even the oral surgeon needs a second look, like a deeper look, a more focused x-ray on that area, then it makes me a bit concerned. Um, but unfortunately, I have no answers for you all on that. And I have no answers for myself. So I will have to update you all on, a, on another video about what is going on. Most likely, then from, most likely, I will post on my Instagram and my Snapchat before on here for what is going on so if you want to go ahead and follow me over there so you can be updated as much as possible i will have my social media on the screen um but yeah like i'm a little nervous i'm a little nervous i'm hoping it's nothing i'm really hoping it's nothing i don't want a cyst in my mouth i don't want a tumor in my mouth i don't want to have surgery on my mouth um so I'm a little bit concerned, just a little bit. I'm a little worried. I'm a little scared, um, mainly because I haven't heard anything back. And to me, the longer the wait is for hearing information, it means bad news. To me, that's how I feel. I feel like good news, you hear answers faster and quicker. Bad news is always longer because they're, take, they're talking more, they have more conversations, they're confirming, and they're trying to figure out a plan before they actually reach out to you. And they have had three days to look at my x-rays. Three days. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I haven't heard anything. Um, I know for sure my dentist was already going to reach out to my orthodontist. And figure out who the oral surgeon was that they were speaking with. And they was all going to communicate together about the x-ray. Um, so me personally, I feel as though I should have heard something at least by Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. At least for my orthodontist and i haven't heard anything so make sure you keep me in your prayers because i really don't want anything to go left i would really love things to keep going right um that is really it for my update and it ends with a very it ends on a weird note basically because we don't i don't have no answers for y'all and I know y'all gonna wonder, I know y'all gonna ask, and I won't have an answer until Monday on the 10th. The 10th? Yep, the 10th. Um, so, yeah, I will definitely post over there on my Instagram before I post over here and let you all know. If y'all follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, then you will know very soon on mm -hmm. Monday what is going on. Um, if not, then you will find out on here when I update you all. As soon as I find out information and record a video and do all that. Um, so, might as well just go ahead and go over there and follow me on Instagram because you'll know a lot sooner. Um, but that is going to be the end of this video for my update on my braces. I'm so excited. I am fixing my freaking smile, y'all. I'm going to have a better smile real soon. So, if you enjoy this video and all the updates that I gave, y'all, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos from us and from me about my braces. And turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a single video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.